Jessica Ngozi was born on the 20th of January 1990. She grew up in Mpangeni in KwaZulu Natal. She was very close to both her parents. Unfortunately, Jessica Ngozi's father died when she was in grade 11 from Hongen's disease, which is a rare form of cancer. She began her university journey when she wanted to become a lawyer. Unfortunately, in her second year of university, she failed criminal law. Jessica then decided to drop out altogether, feeling like a disappointment in her family. That decision ended up to be one of the best blessings in disguise. It was then that she decided to sign up for drama and ended up graduating from the University of KwaZulu-Natal in 2012 with a Bachelor of Arts in Drama and Performance degree. Less than a year after her graduation, Jessica landed a role on what would become one of South Africa's most popular soapies. She made her debut as Kondi Gubane on Isibaya in 2013. That's not all. 2014 saw the actress star in yet another soapy, Aye Ye on Mzanti Magic. It was in 2017 that Jessica hosted her very first TV show, BET's A-List, co-hosting with her fellow Isibaya co-star Nomzamo Mbata. She then ended up coming on our screens once again when she started hosting Channel O's Music Video Awards, she started also hosting on V Entertainment and was a guest presenter on Our Perfect Wedding. In 2020, she then landed an yet another role on Essay's telenovela The Queen, where she starred as a villain, Tando Sibax. It was also during that year that she announced that she was leaving Isibaya, which was quite a shock to a lot of viewers because a lot of the popular actors and actresses were leaving the show. That same year, she was awarded the Outstanding Female Villain Award at the Royalty Soapy Award. Now we all know that her acting life is filled with drama, but one other component in her life where it's filled with drama is definitely her love life. She has been linked to a lot of popular figures in the entertainment industry in the past. However, when she started dating Dozo Tike Zamini, who used to act on Uzalo in 2018, it was quite clear that she was okay to make her love life public. The relationship which had allegedly begun in 2017 was brought to light during the same time the couple were expecting their first child. It was in 2019 that Jessica Ngozi broke the internet when she revealed that she and TK were no longer together following TK's infidelity. And while TK was quick to put an end to the rumor, by announcing that they were still together, Jessica had clearly made up her mind where her ex-boyfriend was concerned. Tika allegedly at that time was busy dating someone who was in high school, allegedly, and Jessica Ngozi decided to go on social media and blast her baby daddy. She basically expressed how hurt and betrayed she was by TK and that she's never going to go back to him. And the only thing which actually just keeps them together is their beautiful daughter. Now, she gave birth to her daughter in September 2018 and the daughter's name is Namisa Nami Kamini. And she is expecting her second child because her her and her baby daddy TK yes the one who allegedly cheated with a teenager got back together and everything seems all happy I mean yes people change but you know how these men are but anyway let's move on to another form of controversy because like I said one thing about Jessica Gorsi her life is dramatic on and off the screens she was allegedly involved with some dramatic affair scandal with her fellow actress Nomza Mombata 
when allegedly she had an affair with Kayam Teta. Now, Kayam Teta was dating Nomza Mombata at that time. And that's allegedly the reason why they stopped being friends. It was a love triangle. And Jessica Nkosi was the third wheel. And Nomzamo allegedly found steamy messages between Kaya and Jessica. Ooh. Nomzamo couldn't hold herself back anymore. She lost her cool and sent emails to the lovers to tell them their secret was out on 28th December 2014. Nomzamo told both of them that she knew all about the affair and she added they should continue on with her blessings. This is all allegedly. Neither Jessica Nomzamo actually confirmed the reason for their friendship to end in public. Nomzamo did, however, hint in a 2016 interview on Expresso that she once had beef with someone in the industry. She stated it was bad beef. We were friends and we're not friends anymore. There's no beef anymore. We're having chicken stir fry, she joked. And allegedly, she was hinting and talking about Jessica Ngosi. These days, Jessica Ngosi has not been on our screens as yet. However, she is someone who definitely shows her love for fashion on Instagram, updates her fans on Instagram, and just tries to show a holistic side to her. From her mommy um, lifestyle to her properties, her cars, and her lavish lifestyle and her baby daddy TK Clamini. But anyway, we've come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell down below. Till next time, love, light.